Hi everyone, welcome to the Mom Elephant YouTube channel. This is Rena. Today we're going to share the final products for the May 15th release. First up is Stems and Sprigs. This is a gorgeous floral set illustrated by Anna Oswald. I really also love the sentiments that the set comes with. My favorite image is the second flower. I like how nice and full it is. Here's a look at Stems and Sprigs coordinating dies, and also a new Creative Cuts set. This is Botanic Envelope. I'm going to be using this Creative Cuts set along with the Stems and Sprigs stamp set today. We're going to be doing a bit of watercoloring today, and I'm using the Arteza Real Brush Pens. The first set of flowers will be in Apricot, Punch Pink, and Olive Green, and the second set of flowers will be in Teal, Mint Green, and Basil Green. I've stamped out the images on Strathmore Ready Cut Watercolor Sheets in the 5x7 size, and this is Hot Press using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I'm taking my punch pink Arteza Real Brush Marker, and I'm just adding a little pigment and then dragging that pigment out with a water brush that is wet but not filled up. So the new thing that I'm doing is I'm putting the paper in the direction that I want the watercolor to flow and that has been really working out and I really love um, the look of these markers because you can leave certain areas with a lot of pigment where it's darker and then when you drag it out it's lighter. I did color the next set of flowers. I didn't get to catch that on camera um, in teal and the teal color is so interesting because it drags out a light blue color while the kind of inner color stays green. It came out really pretty. I like the way that came out. So I'm just using one color, laying it on, and then dragging it out. Um, I'm using that method for all of the flowers that I colored today. I'm going to use this stamp set in conjunction with the botanic envelope it's a separate creative cut set and i'm showing you all the pieces that it cuts now it cuts that gorgeous envelope and it has an opening so you can tuck the foliage in and i'm kind of demonstrating it there and all those leaves that you see there and little buds um, do come in the die set it also has these decorative pieces that you can layer on top of that base envelope to change up the look and i really love all of these little pieces because you can mix and match what you want to use and kind of alternate the colors to come up with kind of a unique style um, based on what you want to do so i did die cut all of the pieces in white and i'm ink blending it i'm doing two colors today um, one is kind of like a red and then the other one is blue so i'm using peacock feathers for my ink blending and i'm just ink blending the envelope and also those decorative pieces i'm doing the same here for this envelope and i'm using abandoned coral that's one of my favorite distress oxide ink colors um, i'm just giving all the pieces a little bit of color so it stands out when i adhere all the pieces together I'm going to be adhering this envelope and all these gorgeous flowers on this panel here. And this panel I cut from the frilly window frame, and this is new for the May 15th release. I thought I would break it out again. I really love that scallop detail, and it has an extra detail on the inside of the scallop, and it looks really nice when you ink blend it because all of those little details stand out. So I'm going to ink blend using the same Distress Oxide ink colors in Peacock Feathers and Abandoned Coral. I'm kind of only doing the top half of the card because I will be stamping out my sentiment in that white area you see there and I want my sentiment to really stand out. We're gonna take all the pieces that we worked on and put this envelope together. So I have the main envelope there and I'm taking all of the decorative pieces and I'm adhering it to the main piece of the envelope using some wet glue. 
I really like how the ink blending makes those little decorative pieces stand out and it adds a lot of dimension to the envelope. Here is the fun part. We're going to fill our envelope up with all of those gorgeous florals from the stems and sprigs set. So I'm just kind of laying them down. I kind of want to see, you know, what they look like. And I want to have a nice mix of the florals and also the leaves. Once I found a good placement for the flowers, I put a little bit of washi tape in the back to kind of control them and have them kind of stay in that formation. And then I put glue on the backs of them um, just so they would stay. And after I did the flowers, I took the leaves and tucked them here and there and put little drops of glue to keep them in place. I also trimmed some of the leaves so they would fit nicely into the bunch. We're going for a monochromatic look today, so I am using the Distress Oxide inks that I used to ink blend to stamp out my sentiments. And I really loved the sentiments that the stamp set stems and sprigs came with. Um, I'm using two of them and with the Distress Oxide ink, it's not really a sentiment stamping ink. So I always stamp it a couple of times just to get good coverage. I think I always stamp multiple times um, no matter what. <laughs> That's just how I roll. Um, so here are our envelope flower bunches. I love the way they came out and we're going to put them now on the panels. And I had, I was debating whether I should do it this way. And then I chickened out in the end and I ended up doing um, monochromatic like I had planned, but I really liked it the other way as well. I'm taking some double-sided foam adhesive and then I'm just going to put it in the backs of our floral envelopes. After we put the foam tape we're going to adhere them kind of in the middle of the panel. Once again this panel comes from the frilly window envelope which also has that fabulous um, window die and that'll be available on May 15th as well. So I'm calling these cards done. I did apply some foam adhesive on the back of this panel and then I'm going to adhere it directly to the card base. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed the products for the May 15th release. Remember the release drops on May 15th, um, midnight Eastern time. Please join us for the Stampede. The Stampede is a blog hop which starts on the Mama Elephant blog and goes through all of the design team members' blogs where they'll be using all of this new product. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, happy crafting, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.